So I'm here at the mud hole with the Husqvarna. This is actually at the end of the video, but I'm putting it at the beginning so I can explain what happened in this video. Uh, it was supposed to be getting my two Husqvarnas running. I've got a zero turn. I put a battery in it. I mowed some grass with it. This one, I had to air up the two back tires. I put two new valve stems in. I cleaned the carburetor. We're about to test it in the mud. Anyway, in the middle of this video, it's all about getting good deals at tractor supply, Lowe's, clearance stuff. Uh, marketplace deals, car show deals. So if you're just here for the mud, you're gonna have to skip forward to probably 15 minutes in. That's what we're doing now. I just wanna let you know that at the beginning of the video. Let's get to the mud. So today is Tune Up Your Husqvarna Day. This one needs a carburetor cleaning, and this one needs the battery terminals cleaned. They are corroded. So I just got a battery out of my zero turn. I realized something today. I usually lay on my belly trying to reach the cables. The battery's way under there. You can bring the battery out, set it up here, put the cables on and off out here in the convenience, hook it up, put it in there. That's gonna be so much nicer. Anyway, this battery, it might be dead. I've got a new battery charger that reconditions batteries. We're gonna try to recondition it, but I'm probably gonna put another one in there for now just so we can get it running today. Spring is here and it's time to mow. So I've got this old Husky battery. I have no idea how old it is. Whoever bought it didn't punch out the date. I prefer it when the company puts a date on there. That way you know how old it is. Anyway, I reconditioned it. We're going to put it in the mower see if it'll start. If it does, it's a wonderful thing. So I've got the battery hooked up. I'm just about to drop it in place. Then I realized I stole the fuel pump off of this one to get the other Husqvarna running. Let's go steal a fuel pump off of maybe John Deere. So here's the John Deere. There's the fuel pump. If this is not John Deere day, it's Husqvarna day. So I think I'm going to rob that, put it on the zero turn, and we can have them running. John Deere can wait a few minutes. So as we put the battery in, we got to make sure that the hot does not ground out on anything. Luckily, it's got this rubber boot. It should be fine. It's in. I bet it was meant to be done that way. It is fuel pump time. This is the one off the John Deere. Luckily, they're interchangeable. Okay, that hose is cracked. I guess we got to borrow the hose too from John Deere. So I need to heat this so I can order a new one and I need a fuel pump. So this is the hose off the John Deere. John Deere says, I don't care as long as when you get new ones, I get the new one. That's fine. That hose evidently is too short to mount. Anyway. We're going to just let it ride like it is. So I've got the zero turn pulled into the garage, you know, in the shade in front of the fan. Probably need to check the oil. Wouldn't hurt to change it. We'll do that soon. Anyway, let's see if the reconditioned battery will start it after it's been running. Shout out to reconditioned batteries. This one has a reconditioned battery. Troy number five has a reconditioned battery. Colonel Craftsman has a reconditioned battery. I was down to one mower battery, now I'm up to four, and I picked up another one at the dump day, so that might be number five. I got a couple more I need to try. Gotta love a reconditioner. It is time to check the oil. The level is just right. You're getting a little bit old looking. It's time for a change, but we can do one more cut with that. I gotta buy a filter and some oil. Anyway, speaking of buying things for it, I found these at Lowe's. I've been getting a ton of good deals. I should make this video about Husqvarna's and deals at Lowe's, deals at Tractor Supply. 
These were from Lowe's. Basically 40 bucks marked down to 10 bucks. That's 75% off. I would have bought all they had. In fact, I did buy all they had. I wish they would have had more. One set. It's two blades. They're the mulching blades. I don't think it needs blades now, but it's going too soon. The current blades are already in good shape, but it's good to have some backups. Let me show you some of the other deals I've been getting lately. So I picked up these two tires. These are the same size tires what's on Troy number 5, what's on the back of Fast Mowers. They were $114 marked down to $28. They had two of them. I got those. It's 20 by 10 by 8. Same thing that's on the back of that Husqvarna. I also found these knobby tires. It's a pair of the same size. 2211 by 8, 2399. They were 100. That's over 75% off. I'm actually going to sell those. Got a guy that's going to give me 65 of those and four of these Maxxis tires for 75. I don't think you can have too many tires, but if I can help somebody else out. Also, from Tractor Supply, down in the hitch drawer, these balls, 50 cent each. I got four of them. I should have got all they had. Anyway, this is where I keep all my hitch stuff. So this is the wife Subaru. It was having issues with a dead battery. I found a battery at Tractor Supply, $37.99. It fit right in there. Let me show you a picture of that. And this is the daughter's Pinto project. It needed a battery. I found a battery for it, $69. Originally $164.99. No, $64 originally $169.99. And this Troy belt, I found a belt for the back of it. It was $3 and some change. I'll show you a picture of that. And another thing comes from Lowe's or Tractor Supply. These tires, these back tires, it was a set of four, 17 inch, 35, 50, 17. It was four tires for 100 bucks. That's shout out to Marketplace. So I probably bought more things that I'm not thinking of right now. I'll try to add to the end of this video if I can think of it. Anyway, there's more things that I didn't buy that were really good deals. I just didn't need, say, 10 batteries for $50-something dollars a piece. Or there were some tractor tires. One tractor supply had a 12-inch tractor tire. It would have been really good, but it only had one. Then a different tractor supply had one. You'd have to ride from one to the other to get them both. And I'm not outside of town today. Anyway, if it's there next time I go, I'll grab those. And let's get back to work on the Husqvarna and the Husqvarna. The carburetor looks clean enough to me on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and stick it back together, see how it runs. I deleted the rusty muffler shield. That's junk. Now I need to make some kind of bumper. Well, for next video. Shout out to Marketplace. I got some Camaro tires and wheels. The tires are not really what I'm looking for, but they'll work for now. The wheels, they're Camaro wheels. And the good thing about those, they came off of an S10. I got them for 100 bucks for the whole set. Then I swung by Tractor Supply and they had a whole bunch of clearance tires. I'm talking $9.99 for a tire and a wheel. $9.99. Um, let me get them all out and organize and I'll show them to you. There's a plane going over. What did I get? This is a spare for my 5x8 trailer. I need a spare. I was going to get these for the 5x8 trailer, but they're the wrong lug. I got five lugs. These are four lugs, galvanized. So this is going to be saved for a boat trailer build. 
I'm planning on building barrel boat number three soon. I'm gonna need a trailer. It's probably gonna need tires and wheels. So then I found these tires, $17.99 each. That'll go right on my trailer. What's weird, it's the same tires with wheels were cheaper. Go figure. So my truck, these came off a of marketplace, $100 for all four. Then I went to a car show and I found this one. This one was $20. It's a good tire. That means I've got a total of seven, four on the truck, two on the truck bed trailer, and the spare, and they all match. Gotta love that. Then I got this ammo can. It was $5. That's going on one of the mowers. Inside the ammo can, I've got lug nuts, brand new set of lug nuts for this truck. That's 20 lug nuts for $25. I got some tire patch plugs. Oil pressure gauge, that was five bucks. I always have to get fuel filters, that's three for six. Pool balls were a dollar each, that's shifter handles for the mowers. I got a impact socket for two dollars. And these ring connectors that melt, that was I think four dollars. Also got this temperature gauge, this was ten dollars, I tested it with a lighter, it works. Ten bucks. And then back in November, in the same show, just this is spring break, this was November. These gauges match, they're different sizes, but they're all pro comp light, ultra light auto meter gauges. So this set may go in this truck. And then the last thing that, I think this is the last thing I got at the show. These two tail lights, this truck needs a tail light. These two match $10 for the pair. Tractor supply, I also picked up two little toy tractors. This cute little guy was $59.99, marked down to $4.99. And this one was $49.99, marked down to $9.99. So I've got another set of tires and wheels, just like what's on Charles' wall. A half set of tires and a set of wheels. That was $125 on Marketplace. This guy paid them up for me for $15, bucks, so $140 in this set. This set I need to sell. They came with a red S10. And these were from the neighbor, $40 bucks for all four. One of them leaks, but I think that's a pretty good deal. I also found this like new, nice double bike carrier at the dump. Let me show you how it works. So call me strange, but I kind of like to go to the dump. I like to get rid of my trash, and I save money on the trash service. Plus, there's a metal dumpster. This was parked right beside the metal dumpster. I didn't get it, but I was eyeballing it. I was looking at it for the engine. This is not really my style. I'm, I like more of the tractor style, something you could mud bog with. Anyway, I know the guy that got this. He wants me to tune it up for him. It's already been running. I already cut some grass with it, but it don't have a lot of power. Just the other day, I stole the battery out. I put it in Colonel Craftsman. I went for a river ride. I think all it needs is a carburetor cleaning. I'm going to clean the carburetor, then I'm going to cut some grass with it. Also at the dump, I found a wood lathe. Check this out. Just took the trash to the dump. I got me some bed frame and scored a wood lathe. I've been wanting a wood lathe for a long time. I plug it in. It comes on. That's a good find. Zero dollars. That's a good find. So I just popped the ball off the carburetor and, yep, nasty. No wonder it was not running. Everything is all cleaned up. It's time to stick it back together. Tire repair on the Husky. Troy's sitting there idling. I gotta air that one back up. That's weird. This one idles really good, and this one does not want to idle. Oh well. Once I air this tire, put the other tire back on, we'll go hit the mud hole. And I took the zero turn, and I made a nice trail to get to the mud hole. So this tire just popped in a new valve stem. It is aired up. I gotta air this one back up and we'll be ready to hit the mud.
plan to get a carburetor rebuild kit. I don't like that surgeon. This place is known for snakes. I don't want to get on a snake. So the only good news here, the zero turn has some little ATV tires. Let's see what happens. I kind of wonder, maybe we should try it again, you know, small tires full of clay let's try it again you guys can move up closer to the action So it could use some taller, more aggressive tires. With the Hydro, your weakness is the speed. There's not enough speed for the tires. I mean, it does great for a Hydro, but manual with more speed would be better. I'm kind of thinking right now, use it till it breaks or let the kids play on it. 
or I don't know leave me some comments So on this mower, I literally bought it just for the tires and wheels and I won the engine. It's got a V-twin. It was $100. Bucks. I couldn't resist. The guy also sold me a tiller for $25, which I turned around and sold it for $300. So basically, this mower was free. It's almost like the guy paid me to come get the mower. Anyway, um, the more I drive it, the more I like it. I think I kind of want to keep it like it is. Maybe do a little pulley swap just to see if it gets any faster. Maybe go from like a 3-inch to a 5-inch. Right now, top speed's 5 see if I can get a little bit faster out of it it needs some taller aggressive tires but I feel like it runs good it needs a carburetor rebo kit but it runs good it starts good um, it'd be good for the kids to use here in the yard something easy for the girls to drive anyway uh, I want to do a front bumper I want to do some custom exhaust maybe some reflectors on the back the seats cruddy but it still sits good I want to drive maybe some LED lights inside the grill I got all kind of thoughts you can leave me some comments and as far as the name I said in the first episode somebody leave me some comments on names somebody put call it the beast and each letter stood for something i like that that's cool and then a lot of people said call it husky well it's not a husky i mean that's an easy name to call it i've already called that a couple times but it's not a husky it's husqvarna and then somebody said call it agent orange and when i read that i was like that's pretty cute i think i'm gonna change this a little bit and call it special agent orange special agent orange anyway i tried to pull a jeep with the other day and it would not pull the jeep we're gonna try something a little bit smaller just a little bit of redemption but you can call this sneak peek number two if you want to. I know some of you have already seen this in the background. There'll be some future videos on it. Anyway, let's see if it'll pull this car. And I said easy start. Don't make me a liar. Agent Orange. Special Agent Orange. Don't make me a liar. Choke it. Hit the key. <laughs> So let's finish off this video with a little bit of mowing. It's supposed to be about the Husqvarna's. Anyway, there's a little patch of grass where the car was sitting. Let's mow that and let's call it done. By the way, you made it to the end. I appreciate it. Especially uh, if you call yourself a true fan. Leave me a comment. Say something like true fan. Thanks for watching.